Hi, this is Monty. Welcome back to my channel. This episode is all about painting, particularly the hull, deck, and superstructure. To summarize what I did, the only color I needed for this project is basically a variation of red for the lower hull, very dark gray for the deck, and medium to light gray for the vertical surfaces. Let's start with the hull. This process is pretty straightforward. I basically mix hull red and flat red in equal ratios uh, and just spray the whole part away. Once you're okay with the color of the hull, then you need to protect the area. I think this is a very important part of the process. The reason is that 99% um, of the time when you're painting or handling this model, you will be holding the bottom part of the, of the kit. By covering the hull, hopefully it will help protect it from unwanted damage. But what I did was just covering the whole length of the hull with um, with some used uh, clear plastic and then fix it with masking tape. And once that is done, then I just continued on the upper part of the hull. Before we get painting the deck, I need to complete the image ship part of the ship first. Um, first of all, the fitting is poor, like I said in my previous video. So please take your time in adjusting the parts, and that's what I did. I make sure that I use slow drying cement because the molding is also poor. I have to send all the corners, uh, ejector pin marks, and other irregularities. I would also check the insertion point for the mass as they are not centered. Also dry fit, make sure that all parts fit perfectly before gluing. No dangling parts, gaps, protruding edges. If there are gaps, then deal with it using putty, styrene, super glue or a combination of all of them, um, whatever it works for you. For the basic color of on the upper surfaces, there are two paint jars that I used. One is a very dark gray color for the deck, almost blackish. And then the vertical walls, my initial paint is medium sea gray. At some point uh, at this stage, you need to start working on using some masking tape. You want to get some of the sharp contrast between uh, the deck color and also the vertical surfaces. Here's how I masked the vertical missile launchers and the results for the aft and for the four launchers. In this clip, I'm showing you how I painted the multifunction radar. Um, but basically, it's just the same masking process as um, when I did the other parts of the kits. Make sure when you do the masking, the edges are tight. There's nothing wrong going over the edges again, just to make sure they're tight. Here are the paint bottles that I use for painting the radars. I thin the paint in medium consistency, just like the consistency of milk. I'm using a 0.2 millimeter airbrush.
if it can still stick to the surface you can always use the masking tape again That concludes our video today. On our next segment, we're going to see how we could use the texture template and also masking of the vertrap area. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.